Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have an introduction to the deck of panning project pan that was created by Emily, and I do have her linked down below. This project starts today, January 20th, and it does go through December 20th of this year, and it is open to anybody who would like to join. If you guys look in my description box, I have several links down there. I have the link to Emily's channel. I also have a link to the booktuber named Maddie. She created a TBR game and uh, she was Emily's inspiration for creating this project and I do have Emily's introduction video down there in case this is your first time seeing this project and you would like a little bit of a how-to video. I did participate in this project last year and I will have my playlist for that linked down below in the description box as well and did I mention I will have the game board down there too that uh, you guys will need if you wanna participate in this. It has a list of all the prompts and it has some descriptions in there in case you don't know what some of the prompts mean and all of that, so I have that link there as well. So in order to play this, you just simply need a deck of cards. If you don't have a deck of cards, you can just use an app. I've seen people who randomize their cards off of apps. I'm sure if you just Google it, you can find something that uh, can help you uh, with that. So. You need a deck of cards, you need one joker, not two, just one, and put that in your deck. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw five cards and then whatever card we get will deter tell us what prompt we are to work on and what type of product we are to pick. Um, I will pop up on the screen here. Emily has made some changes here for the ace, jack, queen, and king. As you can see, the hearts and the diamonds now have separate prompts from the spades and the clubs. So um, that has been a change to add some more variety to the face cards for this project. And of course, the one joker is for are you joking a product that you really don't want to work on. So I have my deck of cards. This is a brand new deck. Um, and so I have given it a couple of shuffles because new decks of cards do come in numerical order by suit. So I didn't uh, want my deck <laughs> to all be in order before I started playing with it. So I have given it a few shuffles. So I'm going to keep shuffling here while I pop the main game board up on the screen. So this part looks a lot like last year. Emily has the two through the ten on here all divided out by suit and she does randomize each of these every month. So this game board does change every single month. So I can see on here there's a least expensive product, most recent purchase, an A to Z brand or an A to Z shade. If you get either of those, you can just go on Google and type in letter randomizer and you will find uh, a website or something that can help with that. So let me give this one more shuffle and then I will choose my five cards. I am nervous and excited all at the same time. So let's see what my first card's gonna be. So this is the King of Hearts and this one is your oldest product. Next, is the Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs represents another project. Let's choose one from the middle. Let's see, I got the Four of Diamonds and that is an SBF. Okay, let me shuffle it again. Okay, we'll choose from the middle again. Right here we have the Three of Clubs, which is a cream product. And then we'll do another one from the middle of the deck. Right here, we got the seven of spades. Seven, seven of spades. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> and that one is a matte product. So let me choose those five products and I will be right back to show you what I'll be working on. All right, let's go ahead and start with the King of Hearts. This one was the oldest product in your collection. This product is old. I have no idea what year I bought it in, but I bought this before I even knew what project panning was. And this is my MAC Studio Fix. This is a powder foundation in NC20. So as you can see, I bought it years ago. Have I ever used it? No. <laughs> I don't really know how to use powder foundations. Why I got this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I bought it years ago and I want to figure out how to use powder foundations. I think basically they're just like liquid. I think you put your concealer on first and then do this powder over the top. I don't know. I want to play around with this, get familiar with it so that I can actually use it because there's no sense in me having this in my collection for years and not touching it. So I'm going to put a 10 use goal on this just so I can get some use and try to figure out how in the world to use powder foundations. 
Next, I had the Queen of Spades. Uh, this one is represents another project pan, and for this, I chose the project Turn and Burn. I just did my inventory videos and some of these products that I have in my collection count as one full product and they're teeny tiny. So I wanted to roll this little sample in of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Uh, it's just a little guy. How much product is in here? Quarter of an ounce or 7.5 mils. This is tiny. This will go quickly, but I want to get this out of my collection because this counts as one product in my inventory just as much as a huge bottle of my hemp's lotions does. So I want to get my numbers down. So this one is for turn and burn. Next was the four of diamonds and this was for an SPF and I chose a product that has SPF in it. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Sunscreen Bro um, Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. So uh, this is an item that I got for free from Influencer for review purposes. So I do have use in here. As you guys can see, I've used it many times uh, to be able to give my uh, proper review. But I'm gonna put this in this project for a goal of 50 uses on this. Next was a three of clubs. This one is a cream product. So I just thought of the Partners in Cream and I chose something that I would roll into the Partners in Cream project. This is from Rare Beauty. It is a a liquid highlighter in Mesmerize. That's why now that I'm filming this, I'm like, should I put this in for cream? But I thought of Partners in Cream and this was something that would go in there. So that's why I'm putting it in here. So this is, like I said, in the shade Mesmerize. I will give you guys a swatch of this. It's a very pretty highlighter. This is it right here. I'm not quite sure if I'd use it as a cream highlighter. Actually, you know what? I may mix this with my foundations. Um, Although blending that out, that is beautiful. So I'm going to put a goal of using half of this product up. If I go through it really quickly, like if I decide to mix it with foundations and whatnot, and it goes really fast, then I will um, amend the goal to finish it completely. But for right now, I want to use half of this up. And then for the seven of spades, this one is a matte product. So for that, again, I saw another product that I had um, in my collection that was also a duplicate, and this is a smaller. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Let's see. As you can see, it is brand new, never used. So my goal for this is to try to finish this up. This has 2.4 grams, it says, or 0.0. 0 0.08 ounces. I always go by the grams even though I'm from the United States because keeping track of these hundreds of ounces is just grams is so much easier. So <laughs> I want to try to use this up. Like I said, it is brand new, never been used. So those are my goals. I think I will have a couple empties. Obviously, if I, <laughs> I can't use this up in a month, uh, there's something wrong, but I should definitely be able to use that up. And hopefully I'll be able to hit my 10 uses on this powder foundation, and hopefully I can get a sense for if I like it, how to use it, and all of that. So I'm excited to finally try this one out. I've been neglecting it, and every time I do my inventories, I pull it out, and I keep saying, yep, I have the same powder foundation. Here's it. Here it is again six months later and a year later. So we're going to work on this, see if I can find a way to make it work, and then maybe I'll pan this whole thing this year. Who knows? So I don't think I'll have any other goals met, but that is my whole update. Uh, Emily is going to put together a playlist of people doing this, and I will put that link in my description box um, so that you guys can go and check out everybody else who's doing this project as well, and be sure to follow the hashtag, which is hashtag deck of panning. That is everything that I have for you guys. If you haven't, I hope that you please subscribe to my channel before you go, and while you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.